Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and one question I see get asked quite a bit, at least for beginners in the Unity community, is why do we group objects together in the hierarchy? This is also known as parent and child. So the idea of grouping objects together, for example, is to create a new game object, an empty one, and place objects within that game object. So here you can see that I have these two chairs within this game object. And if I were to turn it off, it's just a simple way of doing both at the same time, rather than doing just one at a time. Because if we were using script, for, uh, for example, uh, you had a C-sharp script to turn something on or off. If you had it grouped like this, then you would just have one variable to turn both off. However, if you didn't have them grouped, you would have to have two variables. And I guess it's a way of saving space. Like I say, it's also known as parent and child. The main object up here would be the parent. Any object beneath it would be the child object. Another good idea for it is like, for example, here, we have everything in this scene selected within map. And if we were to turn map off, it would all disappear, except for the ground, which is this plane, and these two chairs, which are within this game object. So you can see that is a way of keeping everything together. It's also a nice way of keeping everything tidy within the hierarchy, enabling you to find things quicker and easier without having to flick through loads of things. Now, sometimes it can get a little bit messy within these things because you'll have child of a child of a child. So here you can see it just goes on and on and on. All these are grouped onto different things. And once again, it just makes things easier, especially for example, when we come to level of detail. You can see that there are two level of detail objects here within the same object. It's just a way of grouping it together, especially for scripting. So I think the bottom line of it all is it's easier for scripting. That is one way and one reason why we group things together. And as I say, it's just a simple click to turn things on and off rather than having to turn everything off. It's also a good way of testing your game out. For example, if we were to press play, and if we want to test this out, we can actually go over here and turn these two chairs off real time in game. And if they were separate, if they weren't grouped within this object, we would have to do one at a time. So I guess it makes things quicker as well and easier. It is always a good idea to group things together and child an object to a parent. I think it's just good practice within Unity. So guys, I hope that helps you answer why we group objects together in the hierarchy. Um, if you want to know, anything else you know just leave a comment and i will try my best to answer so guys thank you very much for watching